Okay, welcome to my laboratory again. This is continuing testing stage by stage of this Aquila um, 3 volt perpetual flashlight. I still don't have any inductor, but I did get uh, a DC DC converter chip, the MC340 63A out of a USB adapter that there's the chip there so now the circuit is complete except for the inductor uh, there are the two little LEDs right there now here's the power input from the power supply and according to my meter right now I'm giving it uh, just under four, 4 volts let's see if I can get a reading with this meter uh, positive So that's the voltage that I'm supplying it with right now, 3.86 volts. Okay. Now I see the LEDs there. Okay. If I take the two wires that go to the 27 millihenry inductor and I simply short them together, you can see that the LEDs don't come on and the supply voltage drops to 1.72 volts. Now I'm on a current limiting power supply and the current limit is set to 225 millivolts. So presumably right now at 1.71 volts in we're drawing that much millivolt power and the LEDs aren't are, are that much current and the LEDs aren't coming on with this simply shorted. But watch this if I take these and I make and break the contact over and over again see those LEDs getting brighter and brighter and brighter and then they slowly fade away Okay. Now if I turn up the voltage just a little bit, and I make the short, you can see those LEDs really get bright. We get up to five volts here. At five volts, when I short the wires, the LEDs come on brightly, but then they fade right away. See that? And I can still do the pumping thing to keep them on bright. But if I simply short, see it takes a while for them to fade, but if I simply short these wires together, it also fades. And again we have the voltage dropping down to the current limited value of 1.71 volts there. But again, making and breaking the contact really allows those LEDs to brighten up. I haven't tried it with the power unplugged yet. Okay, there's the power unplugged. And pretty much nothing. Oh, 
Okay, well that's pretty interesting for that test. Thanks for watching.